Hi everybody, this is Michelle Blumen from FCM Connections and I'm here today to give a 5 minute feature on best fit forecasting in SAP IBP. Best fit forecasting is a method that tests different models against the data in your system and ranks the various models based on the forecast errors of the outputs. The forecasting model with the lowest overall error is selected as the best fit. Best fit forecasting can be run manually or automated. I'll be showing you a manual run with the pre-processing step outlier correction. We start in the web interface of IVP under Manage Forecast Models. Here we can see that our best fit model will forecast at a weekly level considering 104 weeks of historical data and forecasting 52 weeks into the future, as well as keeping an error measure calculation horizon of 52 weeks. We'll use just one pre-processing step, which is outlier correction. For my data, we'll use variance, but keep in mind that variance can be hugely affected by a single outlier observation. I'm going to alter any outliers that fall three standard deviations away from the mean, which should be about 0.3% of all data. For the outlier correction method, I'll choose correction with median, which means that the system replaces outliers with the median of all key figure values calculated for the historical periods, and the outliers are excluded from the calculation. In the forecasting step overall parameters, I chose which input I want to use for the forecast, as well as where the results of the forecast will be output. We'll be testing three different models, all optimized within the selected smoothing algorithms. The models we're testing are triple, double, and single exponential smoothing, and we'll be saving all of their outputs in their own key figures, so that I can easily see which model the system chose without having to look through the logs after the forecast. Here, I have trend dampening checked. This means that I want the system to be wary of strong upward trends, as I know that strong economical upward trends don't last in my data slash industry, so I don't want an overly optimistic forecast. Therefore, any forecast method I have with a trend component, which in this case is double and triple exponential smoothing, will have trend dampening checked. Scrolling down, by choosing Choose Best Forecast Method and then Consider Time Series Properties option, I indicate to the system to check the time series properties that were identified by the most recent forecast automation job for the selected planning objects and use them to filter out the algorithms that are not expected to calculate an appropriate forecast. The error that the model will be referencing in choosing the best forecasting method is MAPE or mean absolute percentage error, and we can see in the post-processing steps that I'll be storing that in its own key figure. Now we'll go into IBP and run the forecast. I'm going to run it at a location ID and product family level. I know that my time periods are in weeks. I'm running the best fit forecast model and my unit of measurement is eaches. It might take a minute to run, but we can check the status here. In my data set, I have many different product family and location ID combinations, but for simplicity's sake, I'll show the forecasting results for one combination, which is New Jersey hats. We can see that the forecast just finished, so I'll pull up the template where I'm going to be storing the statistical forecast outputs. Here we can see the results of the three forecast. By comparing the results of the statistical forecast quantity to my own stored key figure values, I can see that the statistical forecast quantity that best fit New Jersey hats was the triple exponential smoothing. If I want to see additional information such as outliers, I can check the business log of the forecast status. Here I can see that there was one outlier found in 78 data points of key figure data and it was for Chicago hats. Thank you for watching and for more information on other IBP topics, visit us at scmconnections.com.